Since 1993, Dr. Julius Lutwama, a virologist from the Uganda Virus Research Institute, UVRI, has been involved in outbreak investigations of different diseases, including yellow fever. Together with people from the Ministry of Health, they formed teams for each outbreak. In 1997, there was an outbreak of a disease known as Onyong Nyong in Rakai district. Patients presented with immeasurable joint pain and swollen lymph nodes. This was like one of the major outbreaks I had investigated, which was viral. Before that, we used to go and investigate, but most of the infections were bacterial infections. Then, there was the Marburg outbreak in 1999 in Democratic Republic of Congo, where he went for investigations. We were able to tell that there was a viral infection, but um, at that time we didn't have the uh, diagnostics. The samples were diagnosed as Marburg from South Africa. We went on and trained people along the western border of Uganda. Unknown to him, Dr. Lutwama was being prepared for an even bigger outbreak. On 8th October 2000, he was told to go to Gulu to investigate the outbreak of a strange disease. We had refused to go, but the minister called us. At that time it was Dionga. He said, you have got to go. We told him we are going to go after independence on Monday. He said, you have to go now. <laughs> I almost told them, nah, I'm not a government employee. <laughs> He went anywhere with a team from the Institute and the Central Public Health Laboratories from the Ministry of Health. Dr. Luchwama worked fearlessly until the South African lab confirmed the disease to be Ebola. He was in charge of collecting the samples from the field. I asked him how he survived getting infected. I had trained so many people. We had gone through this so many times, how to put on and how to put off, particularly how to put off because that is the most dangerous bit of it. Uganda has continued having outbreaks of Ebola and Marburg since then, and he has been at the helm of them all, tasting samples at UVRI, which now has a lab to diagnose the virus. This is a more spacious lab that Dr. Lutwama is setting up. He tells us that as virologists, they feel safer working within the confines of a laboratory than if they were outside. You come to the lab with a sample knowing what is likely to be there. When you go out to the field, in the field to collect, you don't know what is there. You don't know which people you're going to meet. You end up pricking yourself. Dr. Lutwama says he has remained in this risky field because he's knowledgeable about these viruses. If we who know then pull out, it will mean those who don't know have got to come into our places and if they come to our places when they don't know, then the chances of these people getting infected are going to get higher and higher. And he's doing a good work for, for us as a younger scientist. He's a really a good mentor. His daughter, Maria Stella Nabatanz, says she and her other siblings have learned to live with what their father does. Him coming back safe and being around, I think, Realize, hey, okay, now he's okay, until the next escapade, now it's this. My parents, especially my mom, most often uh, says, why are you going? But then uh, she always, of course, says, you know better. Dr. Lutwama started working with viruses and insects while pursuing his master's yeah. degree in Europe. When he returned home, his brother introduced him to the Uganda Virus Research Institute as an insect pathologist in 1984. I did more some work on uh, mosquitoes and transmission of viruses. Then afterwards, I left entomology and I joined arbovirology. He trained further in virology, and since many people at UVRI were more into HIV, he ventured into other viral diseases. He heads the department of arbovirology, emerging and emerging infectious diseases. And in this department, we do Ebola, Marburg, influenza, Rifle Valley fever, and all other aboviruses, chikungunya, onyongnyong, semolic virus, zika virus. Away from his work at the institute, he supervises PhD students, MSc students, and is an associate professor at Macquarie University. He's a brain the country, very much, needs in the face of the increasing outbreaks. In what will be our last part of the Ebola series, we'll tell you about the research 
that Dr. Luchwama and his group have been working on for years as they seek to demystify the deadly viral diseases whose treatment and cure is unknown. Florence Nalimba, NTV.